Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? That's the noise of the helicopter. And why do I hear that noise? Because I'm close to the hospital. So today I'm going to be sharing with you quick three tips to, I, I see it there, right there. The helicopter is right there. I don't think you can see it, but it's right there. Quick three tips to keeping a great tenant in your apartment. Quick three tips. Warren Buffett says, have eggs in your basket and watch it grow. So it's very important that we know what we're doing, that we know the location where we are investing so that we can watch all our eggs in our basket grow. The noise is loud. <laughs> the helicopter is about to land on the helipad. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, right there, right there, I see it. So here, it's about to land, we have a helipad. We have eight helicopters for this organization. So this organization, this hospital has eight helicopters and more than 13 hospitals. And I'm located in the biggest hospital, the main campus. So quick three tips on keeping a great tenant is number one, be in a great location, provide convenience to your tenant. I provide convenience to my tenant. Why? Because they don't have to drive, especially now that the cost of gasoline is almost $5 per gallon. All they need to do is wake up at 7, 30, 5, 10 minutes before they clock in and they can hop on to their work in less than five minutes. Why? Because of the convenience to work. My property is just right here. So the quick tip number two, aside from providing convenience to close to work, is to provide them with enough parking spaces. So this property has a lot of parking spaces. It's five parking spaces for this unit. So that's the quick tip number two, is to we provide a great parking spaces for our tenant. If you can see, these cars here are on the street and they ramble for parking spaces early in the morning. They either have to come here very early just to park, find parking in the side street. So when you have properties with parking spaces, then it's more likely that you'll have great tenants in your property. And the quick tip three to keeping your great tenants is to provide the, all the bells and whistles of a great apartment. This was a single family home before. And what we did is that it's in a zone R2A. What that means you can do multifamily in this um, property. So it was a single family home and we could put a two unit in here. So what we did was we regarded the property. We took out the old roof, the old insulation, old electrical, old, old plumbing, everything old was gone what's left was the studs the two by four and then we put them back in so we put new insulation new roofing new electrical new flooring new appliances new washer and dryer everything new and we split it into two according to today's codes and rules and and regulations so firewall electrical plumbing so according to today's standards so those are the quick three tips and to recap the first quick tip is to provide convenience close the closer you are to work the better it is tip number two is to provide great parking spaces so that your tenants don't have to rush through to work to find parking spaces and what about during winter you see this no it's very hard to find parking spaces when you have a lot of snow you have to wake up early to get a parking spot on the side street just to be able to get to work and number three provide the bells and whistles in an apartment either newer apartments or brand new apartments or even if they're not brand new but at least they're clean they're nice they're decent and they have dishwasher and what's most important what i found out over the years that i'm an active landlord is they want washer and dryer the convenience i was once a tenant to i was once a resident uh, physician so i had to bring my clothes to the laundromat every time winter summer spring and fall and i didn't like it because they were so heavy to carry so what i did i moved to another apartment 
because I was new in that state, I was new in that location, so I didn't know anything about it. So what I did was I had to look for another apartment after a few months and made sure that that apartment have washer and dryer in it. So that's what I do now. So hopefully you learned something. My name is Ria. I'm a family medicine physician and a geriatric physician by profession. And I wrote the book, Apartment Prescription. It's how I found, bought, and paid for my 50 apartment units. So physicians, if you want to learn more about what I do, come follow me on Apartment Prescription. Physicians, wealth cannot wait. Let's go.